Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're about to go into the side quest in the manor, so let's just go ahead and get started right away. Ah, I've been expecting you. Thank you so much for what you have done. Oh, Commander Goodman. It's good to see you at home for a change. I came as soon as I could when I heard the Wind Vestal was holding a banquet in my honor. A banquet? My wife is also most pleased. You can see she's all in a bustle getting things ready. I did wonder at seeing the names of officers Steiner and Neuer on the invitation. How did you know the names of our shield bearer officers, Vestal? I don't remember introducing you. Hold on. You've lost me, I'm afraid. Well, I received your letter saying that you'd like to hold a banquet at my residence. I have no recollection of sending such a letter. Is that so? Strange. I'm quite certain it was signed in your name. Never mind that, everyone. The banquet shall be ready soon. Well, I'd hate to put this food to waste. And Eleanor seems so happy. Indeed. We would be delighted to join you. Excellent. Please, this way. I say, the Wind Vestal is much younger than I had imagined. She may be young, but I hear she's quite capable. They say she's already saved our hides several times. Allow me to introduce everyone. These are my chiefs of operations. My closest advisors, you might say. My name is Saranish Steiner. It is a great honor to walk in the light of your countenance, Lady Vestal. I am Savish Neuer. I'm very glad to make your acquaintance, Lady Vestal. Pleased to meet you both. Well, now that formalities are out of the way, let's head to the table. Daniel. What is it? I just opened a letter that arrived this morning. A letter? There's no sender on the back. Let me see. Daniel Goodman, shield-bearer commander, shall die this night. <gasps> what on earth? Is this some kind of sick joke? Who would send such a thing? It came this morning. I think Nastasia, our servant, collected it. I don't like this one bit. Well, we veterans should be able to look after ourselves. We should enjoy the feast, Commander Goodman. You are right. Are you okay, Eleanor? Yes. I I'll bring the food now. She's acting different. Please accept my apologies for this disruption, everyone. Not at all. That letter chilled my blood. A death threat, it seems. Ring a bell! Don't say such things! That was Eleanor's voice! What is wrong? S something terrible has happened! It's Nastasia! She's dead! <laughs> Nastasia is dead. She was not breathing, and had no pulse. We believe a blow to the back of her head with a blunt object is what killed her. But we haven't found a weapon. We've placed her body in bed for now. I'm more concerned at the fact that the front door will not open. It seems to be sealed shut from the outside. We cannot get out! Can't we just break a window? I'm afraid not. This residence was formerly a stronghold. There aren't any windows on the first floor. So that means... we're trapped? What on earth is going on? Who killed that servant? I was preparing the food with Nastasia just before, right up until I opened that threatening letter. I noticed nothing amiss at that point. 
Then it must have been you who killed her. Who else here would have had the chance? Nonsense! Why would my wife ever do such a thing? I have no idea. Perhaps she was the one who wrote that letter as well. N no! I... I would never harm a fly! But you were the only one who could have been with the servant at the time she was killed. Wait! The culprit will not be found through conjecture. That said, the murderer must be among us. The front door has not been open since we arrived, no? None have entered, and none have left. That leaves only us. It's a murder mystery. I would never accuse the Vestal. But how can we trust you other three? We know nothing about you. That's just... I'm sure I appear suspicious. After all, I have no memory and know not my own past. There's no one who can attest to my background, either. Oh, for pity's sake! Why do you travel with companions of such dubious origin, Vestal? Yo, chill out. They show up. All of a sudden, the servant dies. Isn't the timing a little convenient? Bro, I'll slap you silly. Enough. The Vestal and her companions have hardly had time to do such a thing since they arrived. And you well know how much they have aided the shield bearers already. Yeah, that's right. It's a little disrespectful. I won't stand to hear the Vestal and her allies insulted. However, in that case, the finger of blame can point only to your good wife. Wait. Allow me to take charge of this matter for now. I would ask that you all remain calm. Let's do some investigating, huh? I trust you will ensure that we get out of this mess in one piece, Lady Vestal? I'll do my best. Who do you think the culprit is, Officer Neuer? The evidence all points to the wife, no? She presents herself well, and then goes and does these terrible things. Perhaps she resents Commander Goodman for not returning to his residence more often. Sending death threats before following through takes a cold, calculating criminal. The thought makes my blood curdle. If this is true, I feel so sad. Sorry for poor Dan... Uh, for the commander. He has worked hard for his country. How's that about? Uh, but if you want my honest opinion, I think another may be responsible. Ring about? Another person? Who? She thinks Ring about did it. This is for your ears only. I have heard disturbing rumors about Officer Steiner. Disturbing rumors? He has worked his way up the ranks, serving with merit in many battles since the war began. Promotion after promotion, and now he is Joint Chief of Operations. I believe he wants to take command of the Shield Bearers. If the war continues, Commander Goodman may very well die in battle, and Steiner may be next in line. However, then you came along and put his achievements to shame. The war seems nearly at an end. He must have panicked. His mind is always plotting strategy, both on and off the battlefield. He must have used your name to set up this banquet. Then why did he kill the servant first? That is what makes him so shrewd. He is ensuring no suspicion falls upon him. First, the servant. Then he picks us off one by one as we turn on one another. <gasps> Horrifying! I am sorry you were dragged into this, Wind Vestal. I hope you and your companions can forgive me. No need to apologize. I think it is your wife who needs your support right now. Perhaps you could speak with her later? Yes, you are right. Do you have any idea as to who the murderer might be? 
Not so far. Do you have any enemies, Commander Goodman? Well, there are plenty of sword bearers out for my blood. But I'd like to think no ally holds a grudge against me. Officers Steiner and Neuer have been steadfast in their support throughout the war. What do you know of Nastasia, the murdered servant? Today was the first time I'd met her, actually. I've not been able to spend any time at home. I see. Thank you for answering my questions. I doubt that Commander Goodman is behind this, Agnes. I feel it best that I speak with everyone, just in case. Often, the least likely suspect turns out to be the culprit. Even when death threats are made? Especially when there are death threats. This whole affair has made no sense from the start. An invitation to a banquet sent in the name of Agnes, savior of the shield bearers. Of course, whoever is behind this invited their intended victims under the pretense of a banquet. If it was Commander Goodman, he could have conspired with his wife beforehand. They could have concocted these mysterious invitations and the death threat themselves. If that's the case, then why kill the servant? Killing the servant may have been a diversion before they kill their true target. Either Officer Steiner or Officer Neuer, the two who received invitations. Or both of them. Wait, it's too early to jump to conclusions. I can't imagine why the Commander would want to kill those two. Then maybe... Hmm. Do you have any idea who the culprit is, Vestal? No, not yet. What are your thoughts? Hmm. The wife does appear to be the most likely suspect. However, I believe she has been framed. Framed? What do you mean? I'd have my eye on Officer Neuer if I were you. Something strikes me as odd about her behavior. She is obsessed with furthering her career. I doubt she'd hesitate to knock down anyone she saw as competition. Forgive me for saying this, but she'll stop at nothing to get her way. You should see the way she looks at Commander Goodman, batting those eyelashes at him. And she blatantly acts as if she's his wife in front of others. Even though he has a splendid wife back at home, she uses any excuse she can find to keep him away from her. She's always holding strategy meetings and wanting to discuss enemy raids. As you can see, Commander Goodman is a sincere, earnest fellow, and the Civil War is drawing to a close. At this rate, she'll end up a mere officer, and Commander Goodman will go back to spending time with his wife. Perhaps she saw this banquet as her chance to make a move. That is what I think, anyway. Oh, and not a word to anyone about this. If she knew I had said these things, my life would be in danger. In any case, you should consider this, Lady Vestal. Okay, okay. I guess let's take a look around. Get going there. Talk to the wife super quickly. How are you holding up, Eleanor? I... I can't believe this is happening. With my husband home at last, and you here for a banquet. Please believe me. I have not killed a soul. How long had the servant girl been working at your residence? Not long, in truth. I employed her when we took Aegil in, but it has been a blessing having her around. It was good to have someone to talk to after Aegil left the house. Did she mention anyone that may wish to cause her harm? No, she was a good girl. I cannot fathom why she was killed. Don't take it too hard. I'll try not to. Oh, 
Let me pour some tea. Okay. Your attention, please. Until we identify the culprit, I believe it best that we all stay together. Eventually, the others will realize something is amiss. Once they do, they'll break us out of here. We just have to wait. In the same room as a murderer? That simply will not do! I agree! Officer Neuer and I were not mentioned in the death threat, but we certainly do not feel safe. As long as we all stay in one place, the offender will not be able to take action. We all agree with the commander, right, Agnes? Indeed. I must ask you to be patient, Officer Steiner and Neuer. Yes, of course. It seems we have no choice. Are you all right, Officer Steiner? <coughs> <coughs> Officer Steiner! Uh, he's dead. But how? What happened? He was in agony. It must have been poison. He had just drank some tea, correct? Poisoned? When? The commander's wife poured tea for us all just now. The poison must have been in that! What? Officer Steiner was the only one to drink it. The rest of us had yet to take even a sip. That is all the evidence we need! It was you, you she-devil! You've shown your true colors! Calm down, Officer Neuer. Calm down? Commander, this woman just tried to kill you! Officer Steiner is dead! But it could have just as easily been you, the Wind Vestal, her companions, or me! Oh, perish the thought! G good heavens, no! Me? Use poison? Don't try and tell us it wasn't you! Tie this woman up immediately! Unfortunately, under these circumstances, I cannot see how anyone else could be responsible. But, Daniel... I am sorry, Eleanor. I shall have to confine you in the cellar until you can be cleared of any wrongdoing. Is this acceptable, Vestal? Yes. Fair enough. How has it come to this? There must be some kind of mistake. Mistake? Are you still on that woman's side? She has killed twice already! But what is her motive? Why would she kill the servant and Officer Steiner? And by means that could only point the finger at her? We can find out what her reasons were later. At least she is now under lock and key. Now we just need to find a way out of here, and all shall be resolved. She must have been the one who jammed the front door as well. We should have questioned her. <laughs> we should go and have another look at the entranceway. I'm not going anywhere. No way. I'm staying put until help comes. Very well. I'll stay here with her. Okay, he's dead. What's this? Everything has gone dark! Who extinguished the lights? Watch out! I have a bad feeling about this! Commander Goodman! Get the lights on now! I will. Just a moment. The lights are back! Uh, look! Officer Neuer! No way. What's wrong? I heard a scream! Ah! Uh, Officer Neuer! Stay with me! <laughs> that... woman... did... Woman? 
Which woman? Officer Neuer! <laughs> Is she... dead? Yes. So, she was attacked in the brief time that the lights were out? Could the woman Officer Neuer mentioned be your wife? Impossible. She's confined to the cellar. She had no way of killing Officer Neuer. Could there be a secret exit out of the cellar? You've not spent much time at home, Commander Goodman, so perhaps you were simply not aware of it. Your wife, Eleanor, could have constructed a hidden passage. Never. She may have started a murder spree. Now she's been found out as the killer. That's pure conjecture. There's no proof yet that Eleanor had anything to do with this. Let's go and talk with her. That is our only path of action right now. I'll stay here. I cannot bear to face her right now. Here is the key. Fair enough. Has something happened? I, I heard a yell from upstairs a while ago. Have you been here the whole time? Y yes Let's look for a hidden passage. A hidden passage? What are you talking about? Oh, I'm so confused. Do you deny that you used a hidden passage to sneak upstairs and slay Officer Noy? I know nothing of any hidden passage. I believe you are telling the truth. But that means we have a bigger problem. If you are innocent, then it must mean that Commander Goodman is the killer. What? Daniel? A murderer? Only because there is nobody else it could be. The four of us have stayed together the whole time, so we cannot be responsible. The only other survivors here are you and your husband. Right before Neuer breathed her last, she indicated her killer was a woman. That makes you the only suspect. But... I can't see any way out of here. <laughs> there must be. Otherwise, who could be the culprit? There are no other women here. Except... What is it? Wait. How could we be so stupid? We have made a fatal error. We must return to Commander Goodman at once. Your mind, shield bearer. The meddling wind vessel and her companions are next for the knife. So let me make good on that threat. Commander Goodman, watch out! You... you saved me. I don't believe it. Isn't that the servant, Nastasha? But she was the first to die. I confirmed it myself. She had no pulse. But she was the only woman in the house other than Eleanor and Officer Neuer. It seems we have been fooled by an elaborate ruse. Who on earth are you? Reveal yourself! It has taken all my training to keep up my death ruse this long. Now you and your companions have unmasked me. Where is the real Nastasha? Who knows? Perhaps she's melting away in the lava pits of Mount Karka by now. Really, your guess is as good as mine. You fiend! I was but a hair's breadth away from terminating my target, and then the wind vessel of all people has to show up. I certainly did not. Expect your arrival, I must admit, but that simply means I will add you and your followers to the list of victims to fall prey to my blade. Just as the fire vessel did at the Temple of Fire three years ago! You were the one who took the fire vessel's life?! Then you are a member of the Black Blades?! That is correct. I am Konoe Kikyo, professional killer and leader of the Black Blades' covert forces. Hmm? She's gone quiet. 
I've seen this woman near this residence before. She was just my type, so, uh, I mean, she looked suspicious, so I chased after her, but she gave me a swift rebuff. What? You mean this is the girl you were chasing after that time? Here she comes! Alright, we fight. Okay. Um... We don't have our specials up, so let's just go ahead and do normal attack. Let's do Thundara. Let's go ahead and do Hidden Dragon. And then get some Aurora. Let's see where that takes us. Oop, okay, I should slow down the battle. Okay, so she did a good amount of damage. Missed. Oh, she probably has really high evade, right? Ooh. That hurts a little bit. Okay. Let's, let's go ahead and do a stomp, I guess. Let's do the special. Um, let's do another hidden dragon. Let's go ahead and do a Kira on everyone. Make sure we're all topped off. Ring a bell needs that HP real bad. Good luck! Okay, the piercing bolt. 5,000. You'd love to see it. Okay, got a stomp off. And a hidden dragon. She doesn't seem to be doing much at the moment, so I guess we'll just... Do another stomp. Do another Thundara. Another hidden dragon. And with him, let's do a, let's do a compound. So how about we do... A permacrystal crystal With an insect antenna. To make her vulnerable to water. Okay, so now she is weak to water. Okay, and I did lightning, but next we'll do water. Missed with the stomp. Ooh, that critical hurt a little bit. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna do another stomp. We're gonna go ahead and just do a bunch of blizzards. Bunch of blizzards. We're just gonna do a normal hidden dragon. And then we're gonna go ahead and do another Kira to all allies. Ooh, he is dead. Okay, it's slightly annoying. But I guess I should have expected that, because a ninja's supposed to be really fast, right? Okay, well, at least we're getting these blizzards off, and they're really strong. Okay. Adia will be out of the battle for a minute, though, because of this, but we did a total of at least 12,000. So we're, we're on track right now. We're gonna do another hidden dragon. We'll do a brave. We'll do a raise on Tiz. Then we'll do a Kira. Oh, please don't kill anyone. Okay, I didn't kill anyone, and that's perfect. Once again, I have the support ability on Ring a Bell that makes it where a group cast is the same as a single cast. So, no matter who got hit there, it doesn't matter. All of them get healed the same. Gonna do a stomp. Another hidden dragon. Ring a bell is out for this turn, so we'll just have to hope she doesn't do anything crazy. Okay. Another stomp. Another hidden dragon. Let's go ahead and do a Kira on all. Oh, okay. She defaulted, so that's a good thing that we didn't go all out. Yeah, it was a good thing we didn't go all out with Adia on that one. Let's go ahead and do another stomp. Go ahead and do some Blizzaras. Is she still water weak? I don't think she... Did it wear off? Either way, let's just go ahead and use three Blizzards and then a special. Actually, wait a minute. We should do the special first so we can get its buff. Then... Okay. Hidden Dragon. And let's do Akira on all, just in case. Okay. I was hoping that Ninja would attack before ring -a bell but that works, either way, I guess. Okay, Piercing Bolt. Okay, 2.5, not bad. Let's see, is her... She is not weak to it anymore. Okay, so that, that effect wears off. I have to remember that it wears off. Okay. That's alright, she'll be dead soon enough, so I'm not too worried about that effect wearing off. 
Another stomp. Hidden dragon. Let's go ahead and use Akira. Make sure everyone's topped off here. Don't want anyone going too low. Okay. That's not good. Oh, I missed. Okay. It didn't hurt too bad. Hit her right in the face with that. Do another stomp. Another one of those. Kira. Okay, that's good. She attacked first. So that means I can get more of a Kira off. I guess it didn't matter in that instance because I didn't fully heal it, but... Okay. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. Just, this, just slow and steady. Slow and steady. Make sure everyone, you know, doesn't doesn't go into the red too badly. Because that's what killed me most of my earlier fights in the game. I went into the red way too quickly, and I ended up basically getting blindsided by multiple attacks. We'll do another Blizzard, another one of those, another Kira. Okay. That means she's probably she's gonna evade or counter. Okay. She's gonna attack Tiz now. Yeah. But it's not too bad. So that's not really that big of an issue. But well, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Just keep just keep it up. Just Kira's, make sure everyone's topped off. And then just do one hit attacks. So in case something happens, something crazy happens, I'm not left in complete red to, to try to fix it. And I just punch her in the head. Okay. Let's just keep the straight going. I have a special with Adia and Ring Bell, so I'll save those for now. Okay, just don't attack to us twice. Of course, she attack she decides to attack Tiz twice. Just somewhat annoying. That's alright, we'll heal him up. As long as we don't finish the fight with this hidden dragon. Okay. Let's default. Default. Let's go ahead and use a raise on Tiz. And then a cure on everyone else. Okay, that's good. No one's gonna attack her this turn, so it doesn't matter. No one's gonna attack her. Right now, it's just a heal turn, so... I wonder if that Itzu whatever effect goes away, though. Looks like it's not. Okay, well then, I'm gonna default. Let's do a Piercing Bolt. Default. And see what happens. Okay, because I'm guessing the first person that hits her with a physical attack is going to get countered. In this case, I want it to be t I want it to be Tiz. But I need to heal him first, but it doesn't matter because she's dead anyway. A kunai, a second kunai. We got one of those from the um, cave. So we will change someone into a ninja, so those kunai will come in handy. The ninja asterisk. A fast dual wielding fighter. High power when dual wielding favors daggers. Yes. Okay, you love to see it. Any last words before you meet your maker? So, the ninja chooses to remain silent upon her death? You think? It looks like she has something to say. Look, she's changed her disguise again. I failed to assassinate the Shieldbearer commander, but at least I was able to eliminate two of the Shieldbearer officers. Not a bad result. All said, unfortunately, the wind vestal I had used as bait actually appeared. There was no way I could have anticipated this turn of events. Perhaps this is what I kept for taking the fire vestal's life. My punishment for not heeding the swordmaster's warnings. It was a regrettable misstep. If only the fire vestal had not ignored my warning and leapt into the lava pit. <laughs> What did you say? What happened to the fire vessel? It's no use. She's dead. At least I these two are alive. Companions, a great debt, Wind Vestal. Though we lost two of our officers, I consider it a blessing that you and my wife escaped unharmed. I have done my wife a disservice. I was not able to trust her completely. It was a tough situation we were placed in. From now on, I'll do my best to spend more time at home, even when I'm busy. 
that would certainly set me at ease. It gets lonely in this big house by myself. Commander Goodman! Officer Steiner! Officer Neuer! Are you all right? I am unscathed, as are my wife and the Wind Vestal's party. I'll get the door open now! Please, stand back! That's one banquet I won't forget. Okay. Side quest over. Alright guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. We'll do the job change next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like and a comment as a personal channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.